What up, peeps? It's your girl, Dosh, come back to Real Takes. Well, a trailer from retitled The Pope's Exorcist. Now, this one I knew nothing about. I did see the thumbnail and it's starring one of my faves, Russell Crowe. Title, I mean, self-explanatory. I'm here for it. So with that said, let's go and jump into it. Say the rest of my thoughts with you guys. Father Gabriele Amort. On the night of June 4th, you performed an exorcism. Mm. That was not an exorcism. The majority of cases do not require an exorcism. 98% are recommended by him to doctors and psychiatrists. The other 2%, I call it Evil. We have more questions for you, Father Mort. You have a problem with me. You talk to my boss. The Pope. Mm. There is a case that needs your attention. Mm. Bring me the priest. Oh. I'm here to help Julia. Wrong priest! Take caution, there are secrets buried there. Mm. Is the Vatican sealed? The church has fought against this demon before. The Vatican covered it up. We need to find out why. You've been played. You talk to fate. Whatever you do. You only do because God allows it. <laughs> Did he allow that? Imagine what could happen if the devil possessed the soul of the Pope's exorcist. Who will defend you? My faith. you guys i enjoyed this trailer i will say shook quite a bit <laughs> when you watch these with the way these trailers are cut now they kind of tell you a little bit you can almost pretty much put together what you think is going to happen but in this instance i still don't know i will say with russell crowe playing i think it's like uh father gabriel it looks like he has done i want to say thousands of uh um possession you know innocent possession types of um cases he is not to say being summoned, but in some ways summoned by this one uh, child who is being possessed where they want this particular priest, which is him. I will say I enjoyed his accent in this one. Very good. And it looks like, you know, he's just probably thinking it's just another um, case, but it looks like they have dealt with this demon. When he starts kind of inquiring about things, learning a little bit more things, you see him with what looks to like be a, maybe another priest. Um, finding information, you know, knocking down walls, finding things hidden. I always love that. It adds definitely a little bit more extra to the storyline in this instance with this one. So I'm curious, you know, when you see a scene of the young boy saying, you know, like he pretty much lured him and you kind of fell into his trap. Like, what does he have in store? What is it he's done? You know, he's already, it looks like he's in some sort of trouble when there's one so-called exorcism that happens, I think, from some young girl who ends up falling from to her death and I'm curious if they're going to give us a little bit more backstory or we just want to see the one scene where it shows it happens and it looks like they're like you know you're not who I pretty much report to I report to the Pope like if you have a problem with me talk to my boss so he kind of you know has his way of dealing with people when they don't like I don't know if it's his way of methods of doing his work so that is definitely intriguing to me. I'm really wanting to know what the end result will be in the conclusion with this young boy in this very, very um, well-crafted, um, sinister, you know, demon that is taking possession of this young boy. When you see somebody else coming in, you know, when they tell, like, get, bring the priest, and this other one's like, that's not the right priest. I was just like, yeah, you're not dealing with anything that is stupid here as well 
well known as to what what they want and I'm assuming whatever the agenda of what they're trying to do to lure him. And I'm wanting to know definitely how this all culminates and like I said, ends in the end in the final act. So with that said, comment below and let me know what you think. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next reaction. You guys take care.